Hey guys. I was actually planning on making another video, but then everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. <laughs> that, that's not right. Uh, let me try again. Then everything changed when I skied into a tree. That does not sound as good. Yeah. I broke my femur. And so now it's story time, and I should probably get good at telling my story, because I know everybody's going to ask me, because I'm so popular and important, and people care about me a lot. It was a cold winter morning. Actually, it was slightly above average temperature. And then, I skied. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so actually it was um, Christmas morning, and uh, my family went up to uh, Flagstaff to go skiing for the day. And um, the day before we went skiing, the 24th, it was about, it was about 46 degrees. And so a lot of the snow on the mountain had melted, and it was really icy. And <laughs> I, ha I haven't skied in years. And I mean, I used I used to go on black diamonds and stuff, but that was that was a long time ago. And so we went. We did one round first, right? We we went on like a blue mountain, and it was it was easy going. Like it was fast. It was icy, but it was. It wasn't dangerous. Um, and then the next, the, the, our second round, we went up a black diamond by accident. Um, we, we had no idea it was, it was going to be a black diamond because um, there were two, two stops on the ski lift. There was one where you could get off for blue and, you know, just didn't do that. And um, then the next stop, there were about three trails, and they were all black diamonds, so that was the only way we could get down. So we both realized, you know, we made a mistake, let, let's just ski down and not do that for a while, because we knew it was going to be tough. And, um, it was fast, it was, it was dangerous, and I skied, um, I tried, I just, I tried to slow down, and I, you know, turned, um, sideways french fries to try to slow down but because it was so icy I just slid sideways and I just couldn't do anything and then I fell off like the edge I fell off the um the trail and into a side part that was like lower and there were a bunch of trees and my body was turned sideways and I you know, flew off the side into a into a tree right in my leg femur, and so I was lying there. Um, I was I was just lying on the ground, and you know my my it's like the thigh bone. Like if you don't know where femur is, it's on your thigh, and it's the biggest and strongest bone in your body. And I was just lying there, and I could tell I broke it because I would try to move, and I would hear it. You know grind against itself and click and stuff and I, I had no idea what to do. You know, it, was, it wasn't a busy day because you know we were skiing and Chris, it was actually pretty annoying that a lot of people like the the majority of people I did see um, who I was sure saw me like slowed down a little bit saw me lying there a lot of them or all but one didn't all but one, slowed down, looked, and then kept going. It was, um, it was kind of annoying. Yeah, it was, and I, I don't know for sure if, like, people actually registered that I was in pain or something. Like, they probably couldn't hear me, but it, I don't know, it just, I felt like if you see someone lying there, like, side where you're not supposed to be, you, you, you say something. But eventually, um, one lady did stop by and ask me and she said she was going to go get help in like 15 minutes later or I think a little less than that, I have no idea. Um, the Red Cross, the, the ski patrol people came, or one person came and saw me and asked me like, oh, what's going on and stuff. And um, yeah, and I had to cut off all my clothes and not all of it actually, a lot of it. So I was just lying, um, lying there with a lot of my clothes cut off and um, they had to put me in a sled and tube me down the mountain 
and they needed to get me to flatter ground so a helicopter could come and save me and stuff. But before that, um, before I got into the helicopter, they tried to, you know, do IV stuff and tried to, uh, give me some pain medication, but they couldn't because it was so cold and my veins were so icy and I have a cold black heart. And so I got to the, um, and so I got to the hospital and, you know, they finally got pain medication in and, um, they couldn't contact my parents, so that was scary, but they, they got them after, like, an hour or something. And then I had surgery and that, you know, was fun. Yeah, so they stuck a uh, titanium rod down my femur and then nailed it. Um, they put nails in, one right above my knee and then two near my hip to, uh, to keep it steady and stuff. And now I'm back in my house after, uh, about three days in the hospital or something like that. Um, it wasn't too bad, you know. Started throwing up a lot when I got back for some reason. I guess you could say I'm homesick. <laughs> That's why I don't make jokes anymore. <laughs> but it's it's comfortable to be back in my own bed and stuff. And so my New Year's resolution: um, learn how to walk again. <laughs> uh, appreciate what I have, because. You know, you take for granted just being able to walk, you know, I, I see kids on their bikes through my window and I'm just like, filled with hate, you know, would it really be so bad if someone just like, threw a rock at their head? I'm completely kidding. And I also, I had a dream where I was being kidnapped, but I could walk again, and so it was a good dream instead of a nightmare, it, it was strange, you know? You, it's strange that something can be so uncomfortable that yeah, the thought of being kidnapped but still being able to walk is a happy dream. So now I have about a six week time until I can apply pressure on my feet and then it's 8 to 12 where I can start walking again. But I'm not expected to be like able to just be, you know, completely regular um, until about three months. My purpose for this video isn't just to be like, oh, look at me, I'm in pain and stuff, and, you know. It's, it's just, I want to talk to you guys. I haven't talked to you guys in a while, and I can probably show this video to people who ask me, you know, what happened. Because it, it's going to get annoying. And I hope you all had a good holiday season, you know. So thanks for liking and subscribing and warming my soul. And, uh, hopefully I'll be able to make more videos and stuff. And the kids screaming outside. Throw rocks at them. But happy New Year's, guys. Destru action. Like and subscribe. It warms my soul. Happy New Year. I got balloons and candy. I should break bones more often.